Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, and it's April 16th, and I have a wonderful story for you. So this story is coming from 1 Samuel, Samuel, which is in the Old Testament, and it talks about Hannah. I love that name, Hannah. Well, Hannah was uh, a woman who had gone to the temple to pray, and she was praying for a child. She hadn't been able to have any children, and she loved her husband very, very much, and she wanted to be able to give him a child, but she couldn't get pregnant and, and have a baby. And she felt like she was worthless because she couldn't do this for her husband that she loved so much. So she went to the temple to pray. And while she was at the temple, she was praying so hard. She was crying. She was sobbing so hard because um, her prayer was so intense. She, this was so heavy on her heart. And as she was praying, there was a, a, a priest in the, in the temple by the name of Eli. And Eli heard her and saw her, and he thought she was drunk because she was crying so hard. And when you cry, when you cry really hard and you start talking, your words don't sound very good. So she must have been just crying really, really, really hard so that her words were kind of jumbled together and not making a whole lot of sense. And so he went up to her and told her, you know, quit drinking and go home, get yourself figured out. And she stopped and she said, but sir, I'm praying. I'm not drunk. I'm praying to God and I'm asking God to give me the opportunity to have a child for my husband. And Eli was so overcome that she was so praying so desperately that he said, God will grant your request. So she went home and sure enough, she got pregnant and she had a baby. But when she gave birth to this baby, she made a promise to God that she would give this child back to God. So she went through all this and then she gave birth to Samuel. And then she took Samuel and she gave him to the church. And she took him to Eli and said, raise my son in the church. Raise him to follow you, to follow God. God gave me this gift and I'm giving him back to God. What an incredible prayer. An incredible story of faith and love and God's love that he would grant Hannah her request. You know, God answers prayer, not just prayers if you're crying uncontrollably. Even simple prayers, God answers those prayers. Sometimes we may never know the answer to a prayer. Sometimes the answer may not come right away. It may take years for an answer to prayer to come. Sometimes the answer comes immediately in seconds. I've experienced that. And I've also experienced where I had answers come years later and I even have some prayers that I've been praying over and over and over and over for years and years and years I've been praying for some things for some people and there's no answers and I may never experience the answer to those prayers but that's okay God hears my prayers and I know he does so I have, an, I have an activity that we're going to do for our prayer time. And so here's what you need. I have a plate. Now this is a plastic plate and it's got like a lip on it. And you, you can do any plate. You could do a bowl if you wish. And then I have a little bit of water and I have Skittles. So you kind of need Skittles. They work the best for this. So if you don't have Skittles now, it's maybe something you can do sometime later. Um, if you don't have um, Skittles, you can use uh, food coloring, the drops. Do a couple drops of food coloring. It won't work quite as well. Um, the Skittles work the best. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get my camera to go down just a little bit so you can see this. 
Okay, there we go. All right, get my camera, my tripod to go down without tipping over. Okay, you can see that pretty well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pour some water into my plate. And then I have my Skittles. And when I drop my Skittle in, you're gonna see something happen here. And I think I got just a tiny bit too much water. So we'll start to see something here in just a little bit. I've done this before, so I know it works. There we go. Can you see what's happening? Do you see it? I might have to turn the camera just a little bit so you can see it. Do you see how they're starting to bleed? The color's starting to bleed off the Skittles. So if you think about that, each Skittle represents a prayer. And so when you say a prayer, you drop your Skittle into the water, and then you see the color bleeds? That means that as you're saying the prayer, it's going away. So if you think this is you and this is your prayer, your prayer is going out and away. So it's taking that, whatever you say, away from you and giving it to God. And that's what we want to do. When we say a prayer, we want to give our requests to God. We don't want to hang on to them. We want to give them to God. We want to let them go. And then if I pick the Skittle up, Look at that Skittle. It was red and it's white now. And here's a purple one. It still has a little bit of coloring on it, but on the sides, see that? Took the color off the side, it's got a ring around it. And so the, the Skittles, there's a green one. So it's green, green on the top and white on the bottom because the color bleeds off. So if we think about it, um, if you do a, a food coloring, if you drop food coloring in, just a drop at a time, you'll see the, the color kind of spread just a little bit. It doesn't work quite the same way as the Skittles, but isn't that cool? Isn't that kind of pretty? It's kind of pretty. And then if you stir it, then it turns a, a yucky color. But um, see how the colors just kind of mix together? So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we give you our prayer requests. We know that the answers may not come right away, but we trust you and know that you will answer them in your time and in the way that is perfect. Thank you for the story of Hannah that reminds us that you do answer prayer. Thank you for your love. Amen. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you back tomorrow with more about Samuel.